Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to be here once again. I was thinking about this yesterday, last night, and I'm thinking about it again today. But I want to talk br briefly about anti or anti military Christians. Not militia Christians, not militant Christians, anti military Christians. Now, I have no problem with you being anti military. That's not my point here. I'm not saying that I am anti or pro. That's not my point either. My point is quite simply, you claim to be anti-military, but yet you and you you'll preach against it and you'll rail against it and you'll speak against it, you'll teach against it, but you'll take their money or they'll work for them. You'll take a paycheck from the government, the military. I should say not the government, but the military. We can argue when a company is actually behind the scenes, owned by the government, da da da. But when you willingly and knowingly take money from the military. You're a hypocrite, a liar, and a sinner. Don't preach against something. Don't tell me you can't disenfran disenfranchise yourself. That's not what I meant to say. Disengage yourself from the military. There are ways to go about doing it, which you can, from my understanding. Okay, and if you uh, or if you're like a person, secular Christian, tell me that I can't work because the military told me I can't. Well, I'm going to I can. I got five. I know five and I'm not going to rail them off right now. Five people that I am aware of in my lifetime that have extreme situations who work. They go to work. I know the one guy that I, not too long ago that I worked with. uh he was a Vietnam veteran, and uh, he was working part-time at this place because he just wanted the money. He doesn't like staying home. Um, nah, he's, he's, he's a good guy. He's not going to heaven. He's going to hell, unfortunately, but he's a good guy. Uh, curses here and there, but, but uh, when him and I talk, he doesn't curse as much, I notice, which is a blessing. I'll, I'll, I appreciate that. Um, but he was in the thick of things. And he is one of the many stories you hear of people having those night terrors. But he goes to work. You know why? Because he believes in what the Bible actually says about a man should work. Even though he's secular. Imagine that, Christian world. You want to preach. You want to preach, you Christian men. You think you're all high and mighty Christian. You're failing, guys. You're failing. You're absolutely failing. When you got secular people who say, no, you go to work no matter what. I got 103, and they'll still drag themselves into work. Now, there are Christian men out there. Don't get me wrong. There are some out there. Don't Please don't mess up. I'm not saying all. That do go to work. That do go and do their job. And don't whine and cry. And they believe in working for your food. But anyways, that's we can go in a different direction with that. But this video here is specifically for the anti-military Christians. You need to either shut up. Honestly, you need to zip it. Stop preaching against the military when you take the money from them. Okay? You take money from the military. And you have no problem with it. Uh, don't even get me started with the VA home loans. You'll take that too. But you're anti-military. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. And you need to repent. That's my video on that one. Have a great day. God bless.